Well, there is nothing like somebody telling you a nightmare story about procrastinating and then something bad happening. That can happen if you put off getting life insurance. Financial expert Amber Perry has seen that all too often is here to make sure that all of us are covered and taken care of. Good to see you again, Good Amber. Good to see you too. So important to talk about this. And you have seen real life stories People that you've worked with before saying, oh my gosh, I didn't get life insurance, right? right? Tell us what some of the people have told you. It really is so very important. If something happens to your loved one, dealing with that financial burden that you're left with, with their loss of income, their debts, it can mean the difference of you keeping your current lifestyle. I, I have some stories of clients. For instance, one was a firefighter a client of mine, nicest guy ever. Talked to him multiple times and said, yeah, you know what, I do think it's really important to get that life insurance, but call me in a couple months. So I follow up in a couple months, and we did this several times until maybe eight months later, he called me and said, hey, I really am interested in getting that life insurance now, but does it matter if I just got diagnosed with cancer? And I said, you know, actually it does matter. Let me check and see what I can try and find out. And unfortunately, the type he had, I couldn't help him. His wife called me a couple weeks later and said, will you come write a life policy for me? I don't want my children to end up in the same situation that we're in now with my husband. And then sadly, two months later, it was a really aggressive form of cancer and he did pass away. And we both wished we would have been able to have written that policy when he was healthy and when he was ready to actually get it taken care of rather than procrastinating. So there are stories like that. Uh, I have another client who came in and he had a wife and two kids at home and he was trying to save money and said, no, I just absolutely don't want it. He was very adamant. Several times I asked him over a year and finally had him sign a letter that said, I do not want to accept the life insurance I've been offered, hoping that would do a little reverse psychology for him and it didn't work. And sadly, his wife called me, who I had never met, and said that he was riding his bike to work, trying to save some money. A lady hit him and he did not survive it. And she was just devastated that there was no life insurance. She called me a couple days later and said, I'm really sorry to do this, but I'm gonna have to sue you for not offering him insurance. And I said, I really wish that he had taken what I offered, but I have his signature that he didn't want it. And uh, the only thing I could offer her was the underinsured motorist coverage because the lady that hit him had state limits. And so she had to raise two boys on her own. When she had been a stay-at-home mom, she had to go get two jobs. The boys had a little bit of a troublesome teenage life. And I think a lot of that might have been prevented. She may not have had to work two jobs had she had the life insurance on her husband that was needed. Um, you know, and on the flip side, I've seen where people have gotten the insurance when they need it. You know, I had a, a husband and wife where the husband just really wasn't interested in the life insurance at all, but the wife and I kind of talked him into it. And sadly, he was diagnosed with cancer a year later, but they were so very thankful that he felt his wife could be taken care of because of what we had done the year prior. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've seen it on both sides where people should have had it and it would have made a huge impact for their families. And I've seen where people did get it and they can feel confident that their families are protected. Oh my gosh, I mean, that made my jaw drop. And we always think it's not gonna happen to us, right? Exactly. What are some of the biggest excuses that you hear from people? Well, that in fact is one of them. People say, oh, I'm healthy, nothing's gonna happen. You know, so I don't think I need to, to worry about that. Uh, I get that a lot. I get people telling me, you know, it just doesn't fit my budget. And quite honestly, if it doesn't fit your budget, that's an even bigger reason to look into getting it for your family. Right. Because and they're not going to be able to survive without that exactly. extra income. Exactly. You need to be thinking about your loved ones. Sometimes we don't put ourselves first, but that's the Correct. ones we need to be worried about. And maybe right. that will give them a little incentive. So if you haven't gotten started doing this, tell us about the process. Yeah. So, you know, it doesn't need to be as complicated as people think that it is. Usually people think, oh, life insurance, that seems complicated or it's just going to take time. You know, you can really put in an application just to get the underwriting started for free. And then we can try to best determine what suits your family. Is it a less expensive policy? Sometimes they can be as cheap as $10 a month. Is it a type of permanent plan that can build a cash value for them? Um, people oftentimes as well have an option to get free life insurance through work, and I say absolutely accept that, but you need to own a policy. If you get laid off or you leave the job or you retire, those policies don't go with you or sometimes two, three times more expensive if they do. So making sure that you have your own coverage is really ideal. Mm -hmm. There are so many options, like you said, and you're the person to be able to walk them through this. It's nice to have somebody who's done this for so many years and knows how mm -hmm. you can be covered best. So what would, advice would you have for somebody sitting there right now who's thinking about getting started? You know, don't procrastinate. It's really easy to do an application to see where you qualify. You can get term policies for 10, 20, or 30 years if you have a specific reason. You can get permanent plans that have a cash value 
value accumulation that uh, can actually offer some tax benefits as well. You can even get these plans on your children and not so much for the death benefit for guaranteeing their insurability. If they get asthma or diabetes or something that could prevent them from getting life insurance later, they could pay the rate that they are currently at their current age for the rest of their life, have guaranteed insurability and a policy that builds a cash value with some tax advantages. Wow, I mean, there is really no reason why we shouldn't do this. Amber, Absolutely. thank you so much for being here again. And right now, Amber Perry is offering a free life insurance review. If you have any questions about insurance or financial services, you can visit agents.farm dot com slash a Perry or you can call five two zero two nine six six five three two.